What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about cassette tapes. More specifically, how to emulate the sound of a cassette with a VST plugin. In the past few years, cassette tapes have made a bit of a resurgence due to the fact that they're cheap to produce, easy to produce, and have an aesthetic and sonic charm. So, for today's comparison, we're going to listen through some of the Lord Bentner cassette tape on my admittedly pretty crappy Memorex uh, cassette player. Then we're going to listen to just the straight audio file, the WAV file that is available for digital download, and then we're also going to mess around with the Clevgrand cassette tape emulation plugin. And we're going to see how close to the real thing we can get with the plugin. So let's head over to the computer and start messing around with the plugin, trying to match the sound of my cassette player, and then compare the two. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are with the online version of Clev Grant's cassette emulation called Web Cassette. Really dig the kind of GUI that they have going with this plugin. And now I'm going to hit play and then we'll mess around with some of the controls, which are the tape quality, motor quality, head quality, and then some noise reduction options and the tape selector. So let's give it a listen. <laughs> So as you can see, you can get that sounding pretty grungy, which is what we're going to be doing to compare it to that Memorex uh, tape recorder. So one thing I've noticed is that the uh, normal through metal selector switch allows you to kind of select how much bass you want in your tone. And then this noise reduction switch, which will essentially cancel out the fake tape noise. Motor quality kind of fluctuates the speed of the... Uh, recording to give it that kind of weird warbling speeding and slowing down effect. And then also if you hit rewind, it's actually, you know, emulating the sound of the cassette being rewound and fast forwarded, which I really like. Plus also you get to see the, uh, the fake tape move across. It's just a very tastefully designed uh, plugin. The head quality allows you to essentially control how much high end comes through and then yeah, I guess you have the tape selector that allows how much bass to come through, and then tape quality, which kind of controls the graininess. So I'm going to export a version of this track where I try to match my cassette player with this emulation. Then we'll throw them into Pro Tools and compare them. Okay, so here we are in Pro Tools. We have our digital master, our recording from the Memorex tape player, and the tape simulation. So let's just take a quick listen through these, and then we'll start talking about them. Well, there you have it. Um, overall, I was very impressed uh, with this plugin. Now, it's worth noting that the tape player I have is pretty shitty. In fact, it sounds comically bad. I mean, listen to how noisy it is. That's terrible. Not to mention, I believe that the uh, motors are spinning a little too fast, because sometimes I feel like the pitch rises, and overall the kind of distorted and crackly sound shows that my unit uh, is not very good. And there are definitely better cassette tape players out there I could have used for this comparison. However, I did like using the crappy cassette player because it allowed me to see what I could do with the simulation, and I think the simulation did a great job. One thing I did do, though, is narrow down the stereo field quite a bit. I'll uh, remove that so you can hear what I'm saying. That's probably just an artifact of having a poor cassette machine 
but uh, at first I w really wasn't hearing the uh, the closeness between the simulation and the real thing. But once I narrowed that stereo space down, it got that kind of more lo-fi uh, vibe that the original player has. Also, I think this thing did a good job of fluctuating the motor speed, the kind of slight speeding up and slowing down, and the overall just kind of saturation and grit you hear. Let's take a listen. Kind of this subtle modulation you can hear going in the background. Also, the fuzziness of the vocal sounds really nice and does sound similar to our cassette over here. Notice how much faster it is. But yeah, um, overall, I would definitely recommend this plugin to people that are into simulating the sound of uh, cassettes, or if you want to give a mix kind of a lo-fi vibe, or maybe you want to see what a mix will sound like when it does hit the cassette tape. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely give this plugin a download if you're into this type of stuff. Until next time, peace.